Hey, 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 Taurus. This is your sacred scribe here, <clears throat> ready to do your reading. So happy new moon to you. This is going to be a reading for Tauruses, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Taurus, if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, information can be found in the description box below. Make sure that you're clicking on the link in the description box, Taurus, if you are interested, as there are many scammers about the community. And know that you will always see my face in a reading, as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on on YouTube. Don't forget to comment. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. All right, your overall energy, Taurus, is the six of stars. You have the king of wands, the ace of wands, the three of moons, which is cups, and stars are pentacles, ace, uh, the three of moons, three of cups, and the high priestess. So I feel like there are decisions up and coming. These decisions will help to balance you. All right. With the six of pentacles here. We're going to clarify that in a moment. Now you could have an Aries Leo Sag coming into your life. If they're not already in it. There is forward movement with something that you're passionate about. But you're not saying anything with the High Priestess. Now, this could be a love situation you're not saying anything about. It could be a reunion as well with the Three of uh, Cups here. Let's see what's going on. Tell me about the Six of Stars. Why is the Six of Stars here? Ooh, the Tower. So something shocking is coming. What is this Tower? What's this Tower? The Three of Swords. The three of stars. Okay, I, I get there is a huge breakthrough within you. There's a huge epiphany. I want to get another card on the tower. Yeah, the knight of moons, the knight of cups. This has to do with your heart space. There's something you're clearing out of your heart space with this tower. The tower can be, they're saying an uplifting moment. It can be an awakening and it is unexpected. Now the three of pentacles here. Wow, this, this could involve a work situation, but it does involve something you're building. This could actually be a love offer coming in as well. Let me get a kipper here. I'm getting a lot of different things and they could be like everything at once. A lot of shit coming at you at once. All right, this is your path. This was meant to be. Whatever's going to happen is meant to be. This may be what you're keeping quiet. That's what I'm getting. But this is absolutely your path. This is your calling. Tell me about the King of Wands. Wheel of Fortune. What did I say? This is the hand of fate. So God is intervening here. And changing something in your world. The Wanderer. So this is going to make you think and dream differently. Okay, they're saying more often. So maybe not so much differently. Nine of Swords. Page of Moons. Okay. Go easy on yourself about these decisions. Because they're pretty big decisions that you are going to be faced with but spirit wants you to know that they have your back and you can call on them for guidance but ease yourself go easy on yourself okay now the kipper privileged lady this could be a huge opportunity here 
Okay, if this is a work situation, I am kind of feeling both. This is a work situation. It's something that you're going to be very passionate about. It's something that you're going to be connected with within the heart space. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. What is it that you're going forward in? What is it that Taurus is going forward in? Holy shit. Ten of Stars. Ten of Pentacles here. So this is commitment. This is marriage. This is abundance. This is family. Four of Wands. Some of you are getting married. Some of you are getting into a long-term commitment. And this is going to happen extremely fast. I'm hearing bada bing bada boom. It's going to happen very fast. The Queen of Swords. There's some sort of communication that's happening here. There's some sort of truth. Now I'm hearing let's cut to the chase. I have a kipper. What is this about? Ooh, thief. But it did come out in the reverse. Now I don't normally read reversals but let's see what spirit has okay message is this an addition to okay so somebody else okay be careful Taurus because there is a situation here that you're gonna get involved in very quickly all right you're going to they're saying stabilize Okay, but there's somebody else that may come in, and this person may be from the past, okay? And this is to sabotage. Even if they're not from the past, Spirit is saying, yes. If they're not from the past, somebody's coming in to try to sabotage all this greatness you've got going on here. I want to get one more here. Toil and labor. Keep on moving forward. I'm getting with this toil and labor. Keep on focusing. Keep on focusing on whatever it is you're going to be focused on. Because this is bringing your headed toward happiness. You're headed toward an extreme abundant place. Clarifying the three of moons is judgment. There's that decision. There's that rebirth, the magician. Some of you are waking up, eight, eight of stars. Yeah, some of you, this is definitely work. But work, love, both, you're putting work into it. <laughs> you're manifesting a happy place what they just said bad health hmm, despair if you've experienced these things main female you're coming out of this space here I'm getting if there's been sadness if there's been if this sadness say has affected your health issues I feel for some of you it has yeah this is this is your next leg of your journey the next chapter you're coming out of this and moving on to this okay wow so you're moving toward uh, a feminine energy here it doesn't mean that it's um it's somebody who's balanced in their masculine and feminine because the king of wands over here obviously is masculine and I feel that the main female is the same person. So I'm getting a balance of the masculine and feminine. What is the high priestess here? Queen of stars. The empress. You are totally stepping into your power. You're totally creating. Okay, your connection to spirit is expanding. Two of stars. Okay, 
you could have your choice of two different directions here what is the two of stars this could be two different job offers that come in Ooh, seven of swords you're not trusting one of them you're not trusting one of them king of swords this could be a gemini libra aquarius is this okay and that okay what is this person's intention with the king of swords seven of moons to confuse you and this is that person that's coming in that is that thief energy because you've got the seven of swords here next to the king of swords okay they're trying to create some sort of illusion confusion for you so that it it trips you up on your path stay focused stay connected and you won't waver okay so be careful of this person this person for some of you is from the past give me a kipper mature woman you're raising your vibration here taurus or if this is that person false person you may be worried about this person and that has to do mature man okay this is your person be careful because the king of swords the seven of moons the seven of swords you need to listen to your spirit guides i feel like you may question this person coming in uh because of this past person the untrustworthiness tell me about the false person yeah so this this was somebody i just said tell me about the false person marriage this is somebody who you were committed to possibly married to long-term relationship that is the false person you've got false person thief and the seven of swords you've got all three so if there's any inkling of doubt within your mind about this past person you need to know your rights okay this mature man uh what is their intentions knight of stars so they're gonna take things slow here yeah you're building your world but you're doing it quietly five of swords why is the five of swords here the two of moons they want a soul connection with you they want to move forward with the chariots why are the five of swords here the ace of moons i feel like this person wants to work on their ego with the five of swords and ace of moons here their intention could be spiritual with you with the chariot card here and the two of moons but they're going to take things slow this is a new love let me get hmm coffin okay i wanted to get the five of swords a card on this and i got coffin so they're wanting to end some some sort of cycle with you and begin another because we have 19 which is a 10. give me another one for coffin and five of swords give me another one for coffin and five of swords concern yeah this is your concern here so all right there are a lot there's a lot of communication that needs to happen here there are a lot of decisions that need to be made so they're saying a clearing of the air one card on on this i'm trying to get um yeah the emperor so okay once you communicate this and once you thoroughly talk about it. they're saying expectations they're saying feelings where you're going because the emperor is here this is all to get you to this you and them to this emperor status 
okay, to this place of knowing the direction you're going in, okay, which is why the chariot is here as well. All right, so let's get advice, advice for Taurus. Wow, the Ten of Moons. The Ten of Swords, the Ten of Moons, something needs to end in the Nine of Wands, okay? Uh, and I feel like with the Nine of Wands, it's referring to this High Priestess. So they're saying pro protect this, whatever it is you're manifesting over here, whatever it is you're creating, all right, that's that Nine of Wands energy. It's like protect your emotional fulfillment. They're wanting you to hold this energy in your heart and know that there is a path here. There is a path here for you. See this path? All right, so endings and beginnings. That's what you got coming. Now, I'm going to get you a animal totem. Animal totem for Taurus. Huh. The Black Panther. That's my female animal totem. Okay. Let me see what the Black Panther has to say, actually. Okay. <laughs> Notable words and meaningful smiles will guide your way. Take your thoughts to a different level. Hmm. Separate yourself from what? Okay. From any emotional outbursts? I'm not understanding. Stay in the heart space. And seek to light your way with it. Thank you. Okay. So the Black Panther. Call on the Black Panther uh, in meditation here. All right, Taurus. I hope that resonated. Please drop a like below. Share and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in the personal reading. That way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Info is down in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well and know that you'll always see my face in a reading if you order one from me as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever on YouTube. Have a great day. Happy new moon again and I will catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.